right, what is going on? So we are here, Spectrum Falls by DR Horton Express Home Community. Um, really, really nice. We're gonna be taking a look at the 2433. So this is one of the two models that we've got here. 2988 is gonna be the other one, just a little bit bigger. Um, but here we are. There is one quick move in home available on lot 26. I'll take a quick view of that in just a moment, but for now we're gonna take a look at the model. So let's take a look. And what I like about DR Horton, what you see is what you get. So exactly how this home shows in the model is how the home is gonna come when you purchase. With the exception of a couple things, like the art pieces, um, a lot of the decoration and whatnot, and then you've got a couple accent walls. It's all gonna come standard with one color. So here we've got our powder room, half bathroom, pretty standard, nothing a lot to see here, but I mean, it all looks really nice, really clean. And upon walking in, we've got our stairs that'll take us upstairs. We'll go there in just a moment, start with the first level. So this is gonna be where you have access into your garage. Not gonna open that up because we've got the sales office in there. Don't wanna <laughs> bother anybody. We've got our smart home security system right here. Really nice touch screen. These come with all the homes and you can access everything through your phone. So let's take a look at the main living area. Nice big mirror. So do a quick pan. Like I said, everything is what you see is what you get. Um, obviously the homes don't come furnished, but what is included are gonna be the appliances. So you've got the refrigerator, washer, dryer, the flooring, countertops, everything comes with. Obviously not the furniture, not the TV. And like I said, so the model home, you can see that we've got these cool little inserts and then these accent walls. So it's all gonna be just one color. So you can expect it to be just this color right here. And this is nice because other home builders I won't say names, but they'll show highly upgraded homes and it gives you kind of a wrong idea of what you're gonna get, base, but all this is included. I believe you might have a different uh, option when it comes to paint or cabinet colors, whatever. But for the most part, this is what you got. So we're here in the kitchen at a really, really good sized island sink in the island like this so you're not facing your back's not facing everybody while you have guests We've got whirlpool appliances stainless steel again we've got kind of like this wallpaper like this vinyl backsplash that won't come with the home which is no biggie gives you the ability to do whatever you'd like after closing Dishwashers in the island, all Whirlpool, all stainless steel. And then here is your refrigerator. Lots of cabinet space, lots of countertop space. Tons of water. Gonna have to steal one of those in just a second. <laughs> and then you've got your pantry, which is sort of like a walk in. Pretty spacious. Before I head upstairs, let's take a look at the backyard. So all of these lots in this community are pretty similar size. You run the side gate. Pretty good size for the lot for the backyard. Take a quick look over here before we head upstairs. And they utilize the 
storage space underneath the staircase, which is really nice. Got a light in there, so you're not having to pull your phone out for some light. Here's your thermostat, Honeywell thermostat. These, I believe, do have Wi-Fi connectivity, so you can connect your phone to that uh, through an app. Oh, forget to mention, uh, ceiling fan is included down here in the living area, and then in the other rooms, you've got the pre-wire. So if you wanted to, you know, purchase a ceiling fan and have somebody come and install them, you have the ability to do that without having an electrician come out and, you know, running power, which is nice. I have a handyman. He charges like about $75 per fan. So if you wanted to add in ceiling fans in all the rooms, um, that's entirely doable. So we're at the top of the staircase. Seems like you've got your primary washer or dryer in here, all the bedrooms and in our loft area. So we'll start over here and walk into our nice spacious loft. Apologize for the lighting. There's a ton of windows and we're getting a ton of natural light in here, which is not a bad thing. It's just kind of messing with the camera. <laughs> So you can see they kind of have like a bit of a sports, sporty themed game room up here, which is pretty cool. But this is um pretty good size. I mean, I can't, I'm not sure if uh, you can get a good feel for it through the camera, but you know, you could probably fit like a little pool table, make this a game room. And then we are heading into bedroom number one. So this is staged as an office. I'm not sure what the dimensions are, but we've got a nice walk-in closet over there. They really squeezed a lot out of uh, 2,400 square feet. This home feels really, really spacious. All right, not exactly walk-in closet. Take that back, but we have a pretty good size closet right here. Back into the hallway in the loft area. We've got a linen closet. These nice little baskets. It seems like somebody left a little ball from the uh, <laughs> game room in there. Bedroom number two. So this bedroom is bigger than that first one we looked at. I can't exactly say by how much, just by looking at it, walking in, but it's noticeably bigger. This looks like a little twin bed. Um, if you fit a twin bed in here with a desk pretty easily, obviously, but I'd go for a queen. Closet's a little bigger. You've got your standard uh, closet right here. And then we've got bedroom number three. So it seems that this room is pretty much a mirror of that second bedroom. Just flipped the other way. Pretty good size. Again, we got nice big windows in all the room it seems like. And then we've got the same closet. And then we've got our first full bathroom over here. So let's take a quick peek. Double sinks, which is nice. Kids don't have to fight over <laughs> who's using whose sink. Got some storage over here. And then what's nice is we have a door in between both sections of the bathroom. So you've got a full shower and tub over here. This all shows very clean. Um, you've got your pretty basic shower right here, but it all looks pretty good. Same countertops, same granite countertops carry throughout the house. Inch thickness or half inch, it looks like. No, that's about an inch. And then we've got our laundry room. So this is pretty nice. Goes in pretty deep. Washer and dryer are included, like I mentioned earlier. And then we've got 
shelf over here for some storage. You know, if you wanted to eventually plumb for a sink or you just want more storage space, more shelves. And then finally, we are in the primary bedroom. Take a look at this. So there's gonna be 200 plus home sites in this development. I'm not sure uh, how many phases they have planned, but we are just at the beginning. I believe they just opened a few months ago. So now's a good time to get into this neighborhood if you're looking for somewhat of a good deal. Lots of windows, lots of windows. Here's our primary bathroom. Nice closet, good for storage. We got a nice standing shower. Couple benches. Again, we've got double sinks. Bunch of mirrors over here. No shortage of mirrors, that's for sure. <laughs> like that. Turn the light on in here. And then we've got our nice walk-in closet. All right. Well, that pretty much does it.